just come in all the way from India. I don't know the exact date they shipped it, um, but judging by my memory, this thing only took like four or five days, uh, including a holiday, uh, from India to Mississippi. So we got us a 3D printer, which I call these things replicators, because when you say 3D printer, people think of a printer that does stuff on paper. So I got my uh, 3D printer, aka replicator, made by a stuff maker. It's an evolution, and it's a DIY. It's a do-it-yourself. So I'm kind of interested on <clears throat> how much of this. I've actually got to put together. Um, it's a pretty big box, so I don't know if the machine's going to be bigger than this or if some of it's already together. I'm hoping some of the more detailed parts are already together. And uh, maybe I can just do the more simplistic stuff. Uh, judging by the replacement parts that I see that are sold, uh, that should be the case. So we're going to get open this thing up. See what's inside. You know, replicator I got from Star Trek. So that makes sense to a lot of people when you say that. They uh, haven't watched Star Trek, they've at least heard some of those terminologies before. So I'm going to try to cut this off uh, where I can save it. I may have to send it back. I may have to uh, sell it one day or something. So I'm going to keep up with the box. Uh, it'll always make the stuff be worth more, at least on eBay. <laughs> so. Excellent packing job, by the way. That was a little seal, it's a wax seal with string that they tied these off with. Um, very original. I'm not sure what it says, it's got some English letters, looks like ADH maybe. Very neat though.
so here it is guys all unpacked tried to set it out where you can kind of see everything I didn't take all the little nuts and bolts out of the packages but uh, you can get the drift so they gave me some paperwork a CD a cable it's like a tool kit nuts and bolts some gears some more nuts and bolts a belt these two travelers I call them threaded rod assembly left side and right side so I've kept up with these uh, labels you know, after I took them out of the package <laughs> Uh, this is the extruder, the stuff the plastic comes out of. Um, some type of part here. And I uh, call this the drive. Wasn't labeled. Um, some rods. One, two, three, four of those. Blue and white plastic. Like I said, I thought I was getting yellow. Not that it matters, but. I knew I had the choice I would have rather had black uh, here's the bottom piece this this clamp here um, is uh, holding holding it together you know I'm gluing the part that that broke so I'm sure they'll send me another one but just wanted to get it together looks like I'll have to do a lot to get it back apart but of course the the front would break you know you can see it there. I don't really like their logo. I might put my own sticker or something over that at some point. But uh, This is the way all this came. Uh, right down to the aluminum pool. There's some electronics under there. <laughs> um, there's the table. And the other parts, you know, I've set up kind of where you can see those since the background on the top of my toolbox is the same color so I guess this is it for the unboxing video of the uh, 3d eye print evolution according to what's on the front according to what I bought <laughs> and uh, must be uh, not too bad of a challenge uh, we'll see I want y'all to not watch the uh, next video of uh, me putting it together and then of course I'll make some more videos of printing on it making parts as I call it and uh, y'all make sure and like the video if you did and subscribe so you can uh, do the same thing to my other videos <laughs>